the reason I had to prepare myself for three years of not making money is I definitely have to know, like, am I passionate about solving this problem? Like, even if I don't make money, will I enjoy solving this problem? And if you don't, you're not going to last very long as the entrepreneur solving that problem. You're going to want out pretty fast. And so, like, for, for people who are listening to this and maybe they've wanted to, like, start their own company, but, but maybe they don't have, like, an idea. Like, for you, obviously, you know, you were doing that, like, landlord type of thing, right? Like, you, were, you had experience. You knew that there was a problem. You knew that you could address that um, in a certain way, right? How important is it to you to address a problem that you personally have when you are thinking of, of creating a business? And what would you say to people who might not, you know, have that experience and maybe they don't have an idea for their own business? Mm, very good question. So, I mean, there's a there's a few aspects out that, and that really makes me put my venture capital hat on. And one of the biggest questions I would ask entrepreneurs when I meet with them, I, you know, I put them on the spot and say, "Hey, how'd you come up with this idea?" <laughs> and that that tells you so much about this company that they don't even know. But the reason right. you're asking, like, why did you how did you come up with that idea, is because the reason I had to prepare myself for three years of not making money is. I definitely have to know, like, am I passionate about solving this problem? Like, even if I don't make money, will I enjoy solving this problem? And if you don't, you're not going to last very long as the entrepreneur solving that problem. You're going to want out pretty fast. And so if you get bored with the problem you're trying to solve, it's a bit irritating, to be honest. So you have to look and you really have to say, is like, if somebody's not paying me, would I, would I solve this? And that always starts with, you know, I tell people, I was like, don't solve somebody else's problem, solve your own problem. And so, look, if you're going to start a company, it's not go look at, you know, there's innovation and there's invention, right? And both of them can be successful. And I'm not saying one or the other. Invention is you start something totally new. It never been heard of. Most companies are not invention. Like Tenacloud's not invention. It's innovation. Innovation is I've just taken what's out there and I've put it together a little better, right? And so every day, everybody has problems in their life in every which way. So, I mean, you could stumble upon 20 different problems. I mean, I've... I don't know how many times, like every day I probably created three or four companies in my head, just finding all the different problems I stumble upon. And so you just take those problems and, you know, if you're like, hey, I I can actually solve this and you find that solution and that is a business. And so then you want to find out, well, how many people also have the same problem? And now you're talking about your market, right? And then you say, how much does this problem cost me? And now you know, like, all right, well, here is literally the cost. And so can I provide value with my solution? And now I have the savings. And all of a sudden now I've defined the market. Then you have you have demand. Now you've introduced supply. And you now you know your LTV in general and your CAG. So you just created this whole business. And so now you can scale. Now the next last question is like, do you care? <laughs> like, you know, I, for instance, when I, I, get, I wake up at, in the morning every day at 3 a.m., right? And I hate this room because my wife always keeps the air conditioner on like really cold. My toes freeze. And so I'm always like, man, I need like these little socks right here. And I'm always like losing my socks. And so I, I did think about it. I was like, I need a chair warmer, right? So I have this whole business. I can create a little chair warmer for my toes. I really don't care about warming my toes. It's like, sure, let them get cold. Like I'm not passionate about warming my toes. But is that a business? Someone could do it? Yes, I guarantee someone could do it. And that's just a small little daily problem. But it's not something I would wake up in the morning and like jump out of bed with excitement and say, I'm going to warm my toes. Yeah, so I think that's that's really, you know, there's a lot of things in there. But that's why you ask that question, like, how'd you come up with this problem? And when you hear stories where someone's like, Man, I was struggling through this whole thing, you know, they have really thought through this business and not just that, but they are dedicated to solving it. And so then whether they, you know, if, if the money dries up and things are really tight, you, you can count on this person sticking around. And that's a huge part for an investor because you're trying to figure out one. Do I have an entrepreneur who really knows how to solve this market? Right. Is the problem a real problem? And are they going to run as soon as it gets hard and they run out of money? And so just that one question sums up a lot of things in that. (laughs) 